the scene. You already know what it is. Pussy. <laughs> Evil Empire. Bitch. One, one thousand grams uncut till I got. Y'all niggas been going out sad. Boy, you should know. This is what'll happen when you ignore a chick that tries to play hard to get, right? I remember, like, sometime back in the day, I was going to this gym, right? And I met this chick. She was a baddie, bro. She was light-skinned, curly hair. She was Puerto Rican and black, too. I met a lot of chicks like that. But anyways, Puerto Rican and black, all right? And uh, she was, like, two years older than me. I approached her, got a number and everything, right? We talking. Then I take out. We go eat at some place, eat some salad or some shit, and we leave, right? Okay. Next day, I see her. We text and we FaceTime, actually. We face, she likes to FaceTime. So then we go to the gym. We working out. I'm training her. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting her to work. Like, I mean, like, she was she was, she was, was getting mad at me because I was really making her ass work. But it wasn't like an angry type of mad. But it was, a, it was a mad, though. She was trying to quit on me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like quitters. So anyways, long story short, bro, I take it back to her crib, right, so I can drop her off. And before we get out the car, I tell her, we're going to get it in or what? And then she was like... Uh, I just want to get to know you a little bit more, this and that. You know how they do. And I was just like, okay. So then she said, you're not mad at me or nothing, right? I said, no. She said, please don't be mad at me. You still gonna, you still gonna hang together? We still gonna be cool? I said, and so then she left, you know what I'm saying? And she just, first, but before she left, she just stared at me for a little while. Then she gave me a hug, and then she left. And then um, I closed the door, and I kept it cool. And then from there... I just stopped. She thought she tried to call me the next day. I, st I just ignored her phone call. She kept texting me. She blow me up. I ignored her um, text messages, right? I went to the gym. She was there, obviously, right? So then as I'm at the gym and I walk in, because she worked at the counter, right? So I walked in and she tried to say hey to me. I just walked right past her. I was ignoring her the whole time. She kept, and this front in front of everybody, she kept saying, hey, hey, hey. She kept doing that. And so then I kept my workout. I was there for like an hour or two. Then I left. As my way out, she said, hey, hey, hey. Then she went around the counter to get my attention, bro. And then I was already gone by then, so she couldn't get to me. So then I get in my car, I leave. And by the time I leave, bro, she FaceTimes me and tells me, I hope, I hope everything cool. I hope he good. I hope he this and that. And I said, look, man, if you're not willing to make something happen with me, then we can just stop this right now. I don't want my time wasted, and I don't want your time wasted. So I'm just go ahead and go. She said, no. So I just hung up the phone. So then the next day, I go up there, right? Because I go to the gym almost every day. So I see her again, obviously, right? And this time, she asked me, she said, hey, let's um, work out. So I train her and everything. I'm working out and stuff like that, right? She's having a great time. Okay, cool. I leave. I come back. She didn't know I was going to do this. I came back with some flowers and some chocolates and, and a bear or some shit. And, oh, and some clothes. I gave her some type of outfit. I knew, you know, something that a girl would wear, right? And so then I bring it in while she was on the job. And she was just astonished in front of everybody. She was so, like, starstruck, and her heart was just, flat, you know, flattered, man. I mean, she, out of nowhere, she just gave me a big-ass hug. She was following me around the gym, just looking at me while she was on the job. And when I was working out, she walked over there towards me while I was working out, while she was supposed to be working. And one of her, her boss came over there, right? Because she can do that. She can walk over there and stuff like that. She wasn't doing nothing wrong. Because I, I know that type of job. So anyways, he goes over there and tries to tell her, hey, what you doing? What you doing? You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. He bothering her, calling her. I'm, I'm her big brother. She needs to pay attention, man. She don't need to be over here fooling around and all of that. And I'm just listening. I'm like, uh. And I can tell, like, he likes her, right? And he wasn't even, she wasn't even his, he wasn't even her type. You know what I'm saying? Dude wasn't fit. You know what I'm saying? He just out of shape. You feel me? And so... Right. She wanted to keep her job. So she just listened to him. And so from there, I was just like, you know, damn well, you didn't have to just like leave like that because she was rubbing my shoulders and stuff while I was working out. Right. And then from there, like I just ended everything, bro. You know, it was done. And from this day forward, I don't know where she is or how things are going. But yeah, man, this is how that shit went.